Hey guys, welcome to this new video. My name is Daniel, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the easiest way to integrate Shopify with ClickFunnels. Okay, so if you have a Shopify store and want to use funnels, there's a couple ways that you can use to integrate Shopify with ClickFunnels. The first one, and and like of the easiest one, is using this called Cart Hook and this thing is just amazing because you can customize your own checkout and if you know Shopify doesn't allow you to, to customize your checkout within your store but Cardhook will allow you to customize your checkout and then send your customers to one click upsells to increase your AOV. I use Cardhook when I used to make Shopify POD a few months ago so uh, it's amazing because you send uh, people who are first to your, to your funnel on click funnels and then you send them to a one page checkout if you remember on shopify on the checkout you have to go to step one and put the shipping information then step two the billing information and then on step three the shipping and the payment information right so on card hook um, is all of that in all one page so that can increase your conversion then when people complete the purchase they send them to one click upsell so you can upsell more things to the people who just bought whatever you're selling and increase your AOB right so it's awesome it's super easy to use it's not complicated at all but the thing with with card hook is that it's quite expensive card hook cost uh, $300 a month and that for someone that is maybe just starting uh, with Shopify and with uh, all of these things it might be a lot of money so if you don't have those $300 a month to pay card hook uh, considering that you also have to pay click funnel that cost on the basic plan uh, another $100 or $400 to make it work then we have to find another way to make it work right so if you want to use card hook uh, all you have to do is go to cardhook.com they have a 14 day for free yeah they have 14 day for free and then it costs $300 a month they don't have any other plan or cheaper plan I think that they might have a more expensive plans this enterprise uh, option but uh, the most basic plan or the only plan costs $300 a month we're going to do it on another way that could work but has some disadvantage okay so I'm going to explain you and I'm going to show you how are we going to do that so uh, I'm going here to this Shopify store and on sales channels we have to add a new one. On this we're going to uh, add the buy button on here so we click on here to to add it and let's see. Right so once we were here uh, we can select a collection or a single item so I'm going to choose um, any of the ones that I have on here. Uh, this one since I'm using this same photo so I'm going to select this one and on here uh, we can choose how we're going to make this part from here so I'm going to make just the button and I'm going to uh, make it for all the variants now uh, the action on the click it's going to be direct to checkout so it's going to say buy now uh, alignment to center and on here we can change the, the style of the button so I'm going to make it a little bit darker something like this uh, a little bit bigger too a little bit from here right there uh, we can change the, the button text right and on here on the typography we can choose the the font for example if we want to use uh, this one and now what we have to do is click here on generate code and here it will appear there so I'm going to copy all of this and I'm going back here to click funnel. So here on click funnel, we're going to add a, a new element and we're going to add a, this HTML custom and will appear there. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to open the code editor and I'm going to paste this on here, right? So we close here, we click on save and click on preview and see how it works. So the people will come here, maybe let me change something so it looks better. And we're going to put this uh, center and center, right? 
and let's, let's click on save and preview again so when people come to your funnel uh, they are going to see this so here they can choose the uh, the option that they want to buy um, and when they click on here on buy now this is going to take them to um, the Shopify checkout now what will happen on here is first you can make a um, you can't make any any upsell, uh, any one click upsells after this because you're sending them to Shopify. And if you're looking to use uh, funnels to sell more through one click upsells or one time offers, it won't be possible using the same method. So this is one of the of the disadvantage. And the other one is that um, you should make this if you have a, an amazing funnel to use because if you look at this. Uh, let me show you on here on the store even the Shopify store by itself looks way better than than this so uh, it doesn't make uh, like any sense having to pay $100 a month if you are going to have this version that that looks way better that is your own Shopify store so now if you want to use something like Cardhook uh, for for the fact of being able to upsell them and make upsells and downsells and they just have to click on, on a button to add something new to their order you can use this but it's quite of expensive and I think that if you're just starting uh, with Shopify you first need to learn how it works and you need to learn um, how to make ads and how to choose a niche and all of that that you need to learn when you're just starting with Shopify even if it is print on demand or whatever you're doing so maybe if you're going to use this method to, to put this on here is because you're going to have an amazing funnel a funnel that converts like crazy that for every I don't know 100 visitors 10 or 15 buy because your funnel is amazing so you have to think about that before opening a ClickFunnels account you know that I love ClickFunnels I tell you that I love ClickFunnels but I like to be honest with you guys and, and I don't want you to, to spend money on ClickFunnels if you're going to do this because you need to have a really good funnel a nice script uh, on your funnel to make it convert like crazy and if you don't then you will need to have something like this to make it this look like your store we can replicate the same thing on ClickFunnels so maybe this is worth it if you're going to use something like Cardhook but if you're going to, to do all this that we just did uh, with the buy button sell channel and uh, maybe it's not worth it because you're going to spend a lot of money and you're not going to sell more for doing that so that's the easiest way and uh, maybe not the best way but that's the easiest way to integrate ClickFunnels uh, with Shopify uh, I want you to think if it's really worth it for you to use ClickFunnels if you are not going to use um, this thing from here if you are going to use this ClickFunnels is worth it card hooks is worth it and you can make hundreds and thousands of dollars with the one click options that are one of the best things of selling online so um, that's all for this video guys I hope you have learned something new that's the reason why I do this video so my name is Daniel and I will see you in the next video